Hello all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of VMA Virtualization. And in this session, I'm going to define you about one of important topic uh, related to the virtualization. I'm talking about the networking. So in case of VMware, we have a two different way to set up our network environment with the help of a standard switch and with the help of distributed switch. So I think I have, we have already uh, covered the part of a standard switch, right? We already com uh, configured the standard switch and uh, port group which is available in standard switch. But now, today I'm going to define you about how you can uh, manage the option or uh, services of distributed switch. So first of all, we need to understand about the concept means uh, how uh, uh, DB, DB switch or distributed switch can perform the task. So in case of distributed switch, the first and important part uh, for distribution switch, you must need to configure vCenter server because without vCenter server, we are unable to find the option of distributed switch. Talk about the usage means uh, uh, how distributed switch can perform the task and what are the features are contained by the distributed switch. So let's try to understand with the help of example, like as uh, we have a multiple ESXi in our environment. Okay like uh, we establish up to three different ESXi hosts uh, and uh, each and every ESXi host uh, connected with our vCenter server like this okay so as we know that uh, ESXi is a physical machine means where you install the um, uh, ESXi host so for example we have a three different ESXi all are connected with vCenter server and each and every ESXi host contain multiple virtual machine like as a two or three different virtual machine which is contained by the ESXi host one and some virtual machine contained by ESXi two and few virtual machines also contained by the ESXi host three. Our agenda to create a network of our virtual machine but not from the single ESXi. I'm just going to create a network one virtual machine from ESXi one one VM from ESXi2 and one virtual machine from ESXi3. So you want to create a group, but uh, from uh, means uh, the virtual machines belong from different different ESXi host. So only the distributed switch can help us because you know that in case of a standard switch, you are able to segregate the network with the help of port group option, but your virtual machine must be a part of same ESXi host, right? If you have a multiple ESXi host and uh, uh, you are planning to create a group of virtual machine means from a few virtual machine from ESXi1 and few virtual machine from ESXi2. So I think the standard switch cannot support to segregate the network. That's why DB switch come into the picture that give us option to create a network of our host and uh, create a network for our virtual machines which is available in ESXi host. So in this video, I'm going to define every step how you can create your distributed switch, how we can uh, segregate the network and how we can access the virtual machines which is available in different different ESXi host. So move to our inventory guys. This is our inventory and we just need to open and verify the existing setup first. So in our case, we have a three different ESXi host like ESXi host 1, ESXi host 2 and ESXi host 3, right? A single data center contain three different ESXi. Each and every ESXi contain few virtual machines. VCSA Windows 10. Second ESXi contain Windows 7. Third ESXi contain Windows 10. These all are the dummy virtual machines. So we will use it only for the testing purpose means how we can add these virtual machine to distributed switch. Next, right click on your cluster, right? This is not, not, not cluster, uh, right click on your data center. If you have a cluster, you can right click and you will find the option of distributed switch. But now we don't have any cluster because uh, we'll create another video where we can discuss about uh, HA and DRS and cluster. So for now, just right click on our data center. We have a one option distributed switch, right? Whenever we click on the distributed switch, it gives us option to create a new distributed switch or import a distributed switch. So just need to click on new distributed switch, provide the name of your DB switch like uh, training DB switch. Okay. I'm just going to proceed with name of training DB switch. This is our data center information. No need to do anything. Click next. 
and you can verify the type of ESXi that you want to connect with your distributed switch. We have n number of versions 6.5, 6.7, 7.0 .7, like that. According to the compatibility, you can proceed with anyone. Click next. Uh, few information you need to provide like as a number of uplinks and uh, IO control port group. If you want to create a new port group, you can proceed. Uh, so think about the uplink. The uplink means number of NIC card, number of uh, ESXi host that you want to connect with your uh, distributed switch. So four uplink means you are able to connect up to four different ESXi. No problem. We have a three different ESXi. So I'm going to proceed with four next. No need to do anything. Click finish. Fine. So one distributed switch is created successfully. I'm just going to manage the network for our virtual machines, which is available in different different ESXi host. See, we are able to find one option is networking. Click here. And in the network part, we are able to find HR cells, VM network. All are the part of the standard switch. And here we are able to find one option is training distributed switch, right? Port group training uh, distributed switch. This is the name. Now think about if you want to create a different port group, if you want to use a same port group or different port group. So you, you have option to right click on distributed switch and it give you option to create a new port group new distributed port group so let me create one port group it works just like a vlan that we have already discussed like i'm going to create um, it the port group name of it and db switch okay the port group name is it which is a part of distributed switch click next i am i'm not going to make any changes like as uh, the default port is 8 and in case of VLAN type, so I'm just going to proceed with VLAN and type the number or you can say that ID of your VLAN. We will discuss about the trunking and private VLAN as well. But now we'll need to proceed with VLAN, normal VLAN activity. Next and finish. So in single distributed switch contain one, two and three, one, two different port group. Means you can put, uh, add your virtual machine to port group and ITDB port group as well. Select. We have a two different option host and another option is related to the virtual machine. But unfortunately, we are unable to find any option related to the host and VMs as well. So what you need to do, just right click on your DB switch and it give you option to click on add and manage host. So in case of distributed switch, first of all, you need to add the number of hosts that you want to uh, connect with the help of distributed switch. So we have a three different ESXi host. I'm just going to proceed with entire ESXi. Select, click next, next, and OK. Fine. So we successfully proceeded for the ESXi host, not virtual machine. And we are able to find entire ESXi are a part of our distributed switch. But unfortunately, we are unable to find any virtual machines because we haven't had any virtual machine in our port group. So to adding the virtual machine in port group back to the VM's property, just like in case of a standard switch. Select your VM, go to the properties and edit setting. In the edit setting, we will find one option is uh, related to the adapter. Drag and drop, click browse and identify your port group. So I want to put my virtual machine in RTDB that we created. Just need to select, click OK. Another virtual machine I want to add, which is available in 15. Right click on your Windows 7, go to the edit option again. Same procedure you need to use to add our new virtual machine. Browse and uh, select distributed switch uh, ID, click OK and OK. Cool. I hope you understand about it. Back to the network part and click VMs. See, we are able to find two virtual machines are available in our DB port. Is it clear? So now you are able to make a communication between two virtual machines, although the virtual machine which is uh, contained by the different ESXi. So this is the basic information about the distributed switch. We have a n number of services that we need to cover in case of distributed switch. But for now, 
this is the basic and uh, you can say that introduction video related to distributed switch i hope you all of you understand about the concept of dv switch okay so if you have any question please uh, drop a comment definitely will uh, reach your comment and reply your uh, comment so thank you so much take care bye bye and please do subscribe your teach me cloud youtube channel bye bye guys